Welcome and good morning. And uh, yeah, so I've got a new computer that arrived yesterday. Um, the other computer I've been using for for the last two years, uh, I think I've I think I've almost worn it out. And so we we wanted to get a new one rather than have it just die and then I have to do all my videos on my phone. Uh, and then I tried to catch up on the Flash. I watched five episodes of the Flash yesterday. I'm still six episodes away from being caught up so it, it reminds me of the fact that the things that i would normally do before i had the channel and i don't have the time anymore <laughs> all right tonight's game uh which will interrupt flash watching time uh st louis and san jose so these teams are as i said in the preview for the series these teams are really really close and you know when i hear we're killing it uh yeah they've survived i consider this playoffs more than any i've seen before just survival um st louis won in six over winnipeg they won game one in that series in dallas well at home against dallas they won game one of that series on the san jose side against vegas they won game one and against colorado they also won game one so all four games played by these two teams They've won the first game in the series. Now, St. Louis is the one that's got a six-game series in there, but really, honestly, uh, both of these teams are pretty beat up right now. And uh, I don't expect a a, a big feel-out process between the two teams. I expect them to go at it pretty quick. Uh, Schwartz leads uh, the St. Louis Blues in scoring eight goals, three assists. Petrangelo, three goals, eight assists. O'Reilly, two goals and seven assists. Uh, Pareko, one goal, six assists. Perron, three goals, three assists. Uh, Bozak, two goals, four assists. And you have to mention them because St. Louis fans get mad if you don't. Tarasenko, five goals in 13 games to go with zero assists. They really need more out of Tank. And I know Tarasenko is, you know, a highlight reel every time he scores, but he needs to score more often. He was inconsistent during the regular season. He's been inconsistent in the postseason as well. On the San Jose side of things, Couture, uh, nine goals and five assists to lead them in scoring. Hurdle has the same totals. Burns, five goals, nine assists. Eric Carlson has 12 assists. Still no goals. We'll see how long that storyline continues. He's into game 15 of the playoffs now. Uh, Timo Meyer, three goals, seven assists. Gustav Nyquist with a goal and seven assists. Pavelski in eight games has three goals and three assists for the San Jose Sharks. In terms of players you'd like to see score a little bit more, Braden Shen for St. For Louis, uh, one goal, three assists. Sorensen, five assists on the San Jose side of things. Sorensen came up with some really key goals during the season. I, I think he's underrated, and I think he's the kind of guy that, if he was given a chance on another team that maybe needed a little bit more uh, talent on the wings, I think he could be fantastic. A uh, great depth player for San Jose. Goaltending, uh, Bennington for St. Louis, 8-5 with a 2.39 goals against average, 9.15 save percentage. He's played 804 minutes in these playoffs. He has four penalty minutes. That, of course, was a double minor in a game against Dallas. And he has one assist to go with that. Now, on the San Jose side, it's going to be Martin Jones. Martin Jones has eight wins and five losses. Uh, he has a 2.72 goals against average and a 9.10 save percentage in these playoffs. He's played 794 minutes. So he's played 10 less minutes than Bennington, so he's fresher. Not really. Uh, no penalty minutes for him. He's kept his nose clean. He also has one assist in these playoffs, so just one of those curiosities. Both both goalies have an assist. Uh, shots totals. Uh, St. Louis is taking 32.2 shots per game during the playoffs. They're allowing 29.2. Their goals for and goals against, they've got 34 goals for and 33 against. On the San Jose side of things, their shots, 31.7 shots for per game, 31.2 shots against. Goals for and goals against, they've scored 43, they've allowed 43. Uh, Faceoffs, St. Louis, 48.9%. It was a storyline in the Dallas series, their faceoffs and yada yada. Really, honestly, you can win the Stanley Cup without great face-off totals as long as defensively you're able to recover the puck and as long as at key times you're able to win those big face-offs uh san jose has a face-off percentage of 51 percent so far in the playoffs so we'll see how things work out 
Um, I don't expect these teams to get along. <clears throat> We're at that part, that part of the playoffs where teams not liking each other uh, doesn't come through familiarity. Familiarity breeds contempt, of course. This comes from the fact that they are so close to that, that ultimate goal that they can taste it. And I expect to see that in their play tonight. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. As I always say, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.